Step four in creating your portrait tile. Today you're going to be adding a couple base layers to your face and neck and hands if you included it in your portrait. I'm zooming in to show you uh, that I can see the lines for my face. Um, one important thing to do is to choose a nice size brush. If you'll notice, these are a little bit on the larger side. These are mop brushes. And if you use a brush like this for your uh, skin, you'll have less brush strokes on the surface. So the first thing I want to do is choose my glaze color. I have several colors for skin. They're in the top of the glaze cabinet. So to begin, I'm loading my brush pretty full. Um, it has quite a bit of glaze on there. I want to try to glaze my tile carefully, but rather quickly in as few brush strokes as I can. So if you'll notice when I'm coming to my hairline, I am paying attention, not going over my line. I know the glaze looks pretty thick right now. I am going to come back over uh, right at the end and try to smooth that out. I will continue to layer the glaze on my face, really taking care near the hairline. You know, I've really already done all the hard work with the self-portrait and the line work. Now all I need to do is fill it in. These self-portraits are more like cartoon images or uh, coloring book images versus more realistic portraits. So I'm continually, continuing to add glaze on my face. So when I get to the neck, I also want to just keep going and cover the neck as well. Knowing that later on when I add my eyebrows, my eyes, my nose, my lips, I can go ahead and add the chin line back in at that point. So I'm almost done. I'm taking care when I come to my neckline. Okay, so this looks a little lumpy. It is, however, you know, thick as well. So now I want to very lightly come in and just smooth the surface. And this will help it be a little bit more even. You don't want to mess up all your careful hard work. At this point, I would let that dry and apply a second layer. While you're waiting on that to dry, you could come in and add glaze to your background or your shirt. 